Now, I'm just going to move around. No, I don't want to talk to her. Okay, now, you're going to see me do the swimming in the air glitch again. And I think you can actually do the swimming in the air glitch on this waterfall. I think it happened in a speed run. Maybe there's like one frame where you can do it, I don't know. But I saw it be done in a tourist speed run. Whip. Work in progress. Now, Bianca, you can wait. One thing about Spyro 3 is that they did think with the balloons to enter the next world and having to beat every level in the whole world. So you had to do it Spyro 2, but they really... It's like they knew that the, the Crush Gold from Ripto Skips existed in Spyro 2 way before they were even discovered. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was an accident. These things happen, you know. And since it's one of my let's plays, I will be doing glitches. And you've all, and if you saw part one, you should know that I performed the glitch. Now what? you know the best way of getting up there. Getting up the tree isn't that hard. But if you don't know what you're doing, oh, it gets hard. It is really hard. Once you know the best way to do it, then it's quite simple. But if you don't, oh boy. It's interesting. But there's actually arches on these levels on like Spyro 2. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm entering the lava crater. Or is it molten crater in the English version? I don't know. But this level has like two skill points. I think there's like one by breaking a wall. But I just need to double check what they are. Okay, so there's one weird tiki one with Sergeant Bird, and then there's the supercharge the wall. And they're all, and they're both in the in secret areas. That lava. That will be useful for later, and you'll see why. I'm doing the levels in my own order, in my own glitchy order. Oh yeah! Yeah, the enemies sound stupid sometimes. Yeah, die! Spyro's in the town, so you're gonna die. Yeah, this game is actually quite fun. Still not as good as Spyro 2, but I'm playing the Spyro levels. The Spyro levels are amazing. The other levels, not so much, but Spyro himself is great. I just want to hear her voice. Tendrás que quemar un bicho como esta babosa de aquí abajo para liberar a una mariposa. Okay, whatever that meant. The same thing I complained about the tutorials in this game, in this game, but they're not that awful. Surely the game may tell you the same things twice, but you can always skip them. I mean, Hunter's tutorial is mandatory, but... 
all the others, well, Titus is mandatory if you want to get 100%, but, or 117%, but the others are completely useless. You skip them. You don't have to deal with them. Ah, here's the end of the level. They give you dragon eggs. So much. The dragon eggs are like a mix between the orbs and the talismans from Spyro 2. And there's certainly a lot more of them. There's Sergeant Bird's area. But I'm not going there straight away. I just need to collect a few more gems, that's all. Ow. I really didn't pay enough attention. I'm not paying enough attention. I just need to get into Sergeant Bird's level, even if Sergeant Bird does suck. This is a... You, now, you don't get Sergeant Bird until you get to Midday Gardens, but if you get on top of this thing, which isn't that hard, Hola, Spiro. Estoy de you can en do the mission. Para descansar. That was quick. You're supposed to put these... Wait, you have to fire the circle and you can't use it do it with square? What the beep? I know it's a minor thing, but still, I want to shoot with square. And this song. Oh boy, this song. And that stupid noise during the song makes it even worse. You're supposed to return these things to their heads, except if you're doing what I'm planning to do. You may be wondering what that is, but you'll see. Drop was... Drop was square. That was annoying. What's with all these bonus areas with so many gems? Spyro 2 had no bonus areas, they were just part of the levels. But here, they go, you go through portals! You did not do this in Spyro 2. At least the song's quiet. And the song doesn't even fit, Sergeant Bird. Okay, it actually does fit this molten crater, believe it or not, but doesn't fit Sergeant Bird, it's just a dumb song. And here it goes again. And what are the stupid noises during the song? Ow. Oh my god, Sergeant Bird controls like a slippery mess. Also, you can blast away one of these walls. That wall. And I'll give you an egg. Called Luna! Wow, that. She looked. Nothing like the moon. I guess I haven't been in here yet. Ow! That was cruel. 
But this is such a bird we're talking about. Of course, it's going to be cruel. Oh, now we just need to put this last head down. Yeah! Skill point! Now I just need to put these guys back on their back on their head or oh, oh, on the heads. That shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully I did not mess any gems. If I did, that would be annoying. Man, the accuracy! Sergeant Bird! The, the level! I mean, all of these characters play differently from each other. That's not the best thing in the world. Surely it gives the game variety, but... Does that even matter? Because I don't care. What does the Atlas say? There's two left. Wait. Oh wait, the breakable wall has the skill point. Now I have to deal with this stupid bag of money. Going in here. And the music is glitching. But that's probably the discs fault and not the games. Now that is a skill point. Probably the easiest skill point ever. Don't even need the supercharge. Or a coconut weapon. here now to collect more gems before I take that guy down. I need the rest of the gems. I don't know how many gems I gave money bags. Wait, was it like 200? 300? I don't know. I don't remember. Have I gone have I got all the gems on this pathway? Gliding is slow. Charging is not. I will get him! But he's so fast! And the supercharge is done the original spiral one way. Yeah, got her. Mira. I don't want to look. Everybody supercharging! And that's an even easier egg. Hey ho, Kirby the Dragon here. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, supercharged back. Now I just need to use this key, and then I might be done.
Yeah, I'm done. Wait, did I pay? Yeah, I paid 300 gems. And I finished level. Yay! Now I'm going to try something. Which at first I would be like, what the beep are you doing? But I'll tell you what I'm doing. This is something that I like to call the zombie spyro glitch. Basically, what this glitch is, is that it's a glitch which you do with death, and if you do it just right, but think what, what would happen is that Spyro will basically be in the position that he is when he dies, but he, he will still be alive. You'll be able to run around and do that beep. Viva! Mi portal vuelve a... And, yeah. The glitch also works Spyro too. I don't know if it works the way I just did, but I know there is a way to do it in Magma Cone. I might make a video on how to do it. I don't want to die. And getting these gems, that's going to be a chore. Since I don't have sparks with me and I can't get sparks with me. Oh, beep. I can't. That cancelled the glitch. I will go back and show you that it actually is a glitch. First, I want to get all the gems in this place. And then I'll do some more glitchy stuff. Don't worry, I have six lives. This may seem weird, but trust me, it will make more sense when I actually succeed. I promise.